Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to To Be Determined. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to get carpentry XP. It's actually crazy how much XP I got from such a small amount of work, but we're not up to 50 yet, so we still got some work to do. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, remember to leave a like and sub if you haven't already, and let's jump straight into it. All right, I just need to find one macho now. Hello, sir. Boom, there it is. Macho level one, which is one mil skyblock XP for me, or one mil combat XP, two skyblock XP, two HP, and that gets our Kudra to level 82 and our Blaze to level 85. Wow, we clap. Warp to museum. So this should be seven more skyblock XP for this. Boom, museum rewards, seven skyblock XP. We are level 224. Let's go. All right, 8,368th in the world. Dang, dude, let's go. Three levels in one day. That's not bad at all. All right, so I've just done a little bit of mining off camera. So basically, I got these fine jade gemstones, which is enough for not one, but two flawless jades, which we will now be putting on our jaded boots of Devon. I'm just going for flawless right now, just because we've got coal coming up really, really soon. And I want to have at least something on these boots before that happens. So we're going to go ahead and go into our heck gemstones. They're on a flawless jade there and a flawless jade there. There we go. Now I still got to get one, two, three, four, five, six flawless ambers as well as three more flawless jades just to make sure the whole set has at least something on it. But this should definitely increase our efficiency during the mining fiestas when they get here. All right, it's finally happened. We reached our ore mined milestone of 250,000 ores, which gets us our legendary rock pet. So I can finally get rid of this purple one 25% into level 224. So that's 20 Skyblock XP that we got for that. Write this off right here. Rock pet milestone completed on April 5th, 2023. All right, so I just got another flawless. And when I crafted it, I got carpentry 36. So that is even more Skyblock XP. Plus, I did get another level from, I think it was from Powder. But that is our flawless for the Jaded Chestplate. Now, whenever we want to remove these to get the perfect sand, it's going to be 100,000 coins per. But I think we're going to make way more than that from having these in this whole time. So basically, I spent last night mining in either the Mines of Devon or the Goblin Queen's Den. And that was so I could get lawless gemstone on every single one of these pieces. Now, I know they're not perfect, which is fine for me because I would rather just have gemstones on these because we're getting coal soon. So I just wanted to have at least a decent set of gemstones on these rather than just have no gemstones. We're going to get perfect on them eventually. Until then, we're just going to chill with this. Currently, we get six thousand eight hundred and eighty mining speed one thousand seven hundred and fifty three mining fortune so that's pretty good we can get better we do only have a ruby polished drill engine on this right now so once we start upgrading the drill engine it'll definitely be a lot better and i only have a fine gemstone on this for the amber and the jade so we're definitely gonna work on that we have to get the power artifacts artifact of power just so that we can get the extra gems on that currently only have the ring of power it does have all perfects on it but we've still got a long ways to go for that so all right upgrading the newton nether wart toe i think this goes this way and these here there we go uncommon newton nether wart toe now now we do still have to get blessed on this and a lot of other things uh we're still gonna need to get harvesting farming for dummies eventually and all of that jazz i still haven't put farming for dummies on like literally anything but yeah and replenish we're gonna need replenish but other than that it's looking pretty good so we'll take it what is up it is the day after coal i stayed up till 2 a.m last night mining for the fiesta and i think it was probably worth it we've made i think 100 million so that's pretty neat um the main issue is that's just if i were to sell the fine gems that i got to npc if you want to see them there's all the topaz there's all the ruby well that's not all the ruby the rest of the ruby is right here but that's a lot of money but we are not going to be selling 
selling the finest NPC because of this. I really want some carpentry XP, so we're going to be crafting them all into flawless. And we will make some into perfect, but a lot of them are just going to be made into flawless and then we'll sell them to bizarre. So I guess we should go ahead and start. So I didn't get to do the full five hours. A lot of it was um, just because I ate supper really late. The event started at like nine ish for me and uh, I didn't start eating supper till like 8 45 and it was sushi so I took a long time but yeah we started the event a bit late but we still made so much money and there we are carpentry level 37 I think we should still get another level out of this but that actually puts us up to level 225 because <laughs> that's actually a really big deal but we also got a mining level during last night's event so we are mining 52 now currently ranked 8253 we're close to the top 8k already I got to the top 9k less than a week ago so we're making moves right now but you can see we've mined 77,000 total ores during mining fiestas I'm not sure how much of that was last night but I'm sure it was quite a bit we get a lot of stats now when we're actually in the crystal nucleus and in the magma fields with our bow pet I'll go to a little lower spot because we usually mine at a pretty low location we have 6k plus mining speed and 1500 mining fortune so basically Basically, every time my pristine procs, I'm either getting half of a fine, a full fine, a fine and a half, or two fine. So I'm making a lot of money every time I pristine procs, and I have 15 pristine right now. Now, I do want to get an artifact of power. That is one of the big things that I want to work on, and that's probably where some of this money is going to go. But first, we should go ahead and finish crafting it all up. So there's our last flawless topaz. So we got 19 flawless topazes, which is a lot of money there. The rest of these finds I'm just going to put in our gemstone sack, but now we've got the rubies. So we farmed a lot of gemstone. Goodness sakes, I didn't realize it was this many. But you can see there like a full inventory there. That's another 70% of a carpentry level. So this is 100% paying off, but that is farming 38. Another 20 skyblock XP. Man, this is actually paying off so well. What the heck? So that puts us at 32% to level 2. 26 already but if we work to the forge i did also drop a ruby crystal apparently you can drop a ruby crystal randomly when you're mining ruby there's a low chance for it so we now have a ruby crystal so we can go ahead and use that to make this into a perfect ruby right there but that is a full chest full of flawless rubies so we're just gonna empty this see how much this sells for because this right here is 23 flawless ruby gemstones each flawless sells for a little more than a stack of fine ruby gemstones which is okay Okay, it takes like a stack and a quarter to make one flawless so it'd be nice if they made a little bit more than that but we'll take what we can get plus that perfect will hopefully pay for itself as well and then there's another 27 million coins oh my word this is so much money man then the topaz made like an extra 400k per compared to the rubes they can sell these and that's 30 mil for 19 and somebody's already buying stuff wow and as far as carpentry xp goes we're another 50% to the next carpentry level but if we work to the hub real quick you can see 32 percent which puts us 8253rd okay well i'll take it i am trying to get to the mythic rank as fast as we can and uh bingo is here i do have 188 bingo points dang but we need 200 to get to legendary bingo rank but that's actually not all that i've done so i did also farm out some burning eyes yesterday before the event i got on a little bit earlier than the event started and i farmed all these burning eyes so we should now actually have the ability to hopefully craft a legendary snail pet. So we're gonna go ahead and get our pet luck as high as we can. We got the Endermite pet, and that's really all I can do for pet luck. But here goes, burning eyes, super enchanted egg, and the red sand. Here we go, please be legendary, please be legendary, and it's epic. But that is some more Skyblock XP, 44% to the next level, but we're gonna keep working. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, again, remember to leave a like and sub if you haven't already. Also, be sure to check out my Discord linked in the description. We do a bunch of giveaways on there. And that's also where I go to look for dungeon parties. Plus, we've got a lot of other people who go there to look for dungeon parties, Kudra, fishing, a bunch of other things. So if you're looking for a group, there's a good place to start. All right, I'll see you in the next one. God bless.